Adele has announced that she will be doing summer concerts in Munich, Germany in August. These will be her first appearances on the European continent since 2016. On August 2, 3, 9, and 10 of 2024, the 35-year-old global superstar, who is now performing once a week in a Las Vegas residency, will take the stage in Europe. Adele, who is based at Munich Mess, will play in an outdoor space designed especially for the special events. She informed her admirers of the news on Instagram on Wednesday, saying, So a few months ago I got a call about a summer run of shows. I hadn't had any other plans because I've been more than happy with my gigs in London's Hyde Park and my residency in Vegas. But I was too intrigued to ignore the possibility of exploring this further. How about a unique, custom pop-up stadium based on any event I wanted to host? Whoa! Almost exactly in the center of Europe? In Munich? That's amazing even though it seems a little strange. Immediately following the Europeans? England, hurry up! With the Olympic Games right next door? Simone, go! And some of my favorite musicians are also performing live? I haven't performed in Europe since 2016, so why not? With gigs nearer to home during such an exciting summer, I couldn't imagine a more perfect way to round off this lovely chapter of my life and career. Happy birthday, Baby X! Even though tickets for the Munich performances have not yet gone on sale, they will undoubtedly increase Adele's already enormous personal wealth. With a seating capacity of 80,000 per night, the custom arena will have standing spaces in addition to grandstands. Expert in brand and culture Nikki stated, Adele announcing her European dates is big step when many thought she would take a break after her Vegas run. In reference to her prospective earnings, however, Giving four nights of performances to 80,000 people each night will earn her millions of dollars and solidify her place among the world's biggest performers. I can anticipate there will be a variety of packages available for fans from general seating to VIP and even meet and greet packages that will go for thousands. Adele will have received a significant financial offer to perform at the specially constructed arena. He went on. She will also receive a portion of all sales made that evening including food and drink sales. Adele is a very astute entrepreneur who is aware of her influence in the marketplace. The concerts will not only be completely booked, but they will also have the Taylor Swift effect, bringing in a wave of fans to Munich who will see the star and boosting the city's revenue because of the large influx of tourists. Adele's four-night engagement had the potential to earn her over $10 million. Considering that Beyoncé, Harry Styles, and Taylor Swift have all had success conducting small residencies across the globe, she will consider this model as perhaps a smart method to turf for her upcoming album. It is possible that she will record this performance as well and create a video that can be viewed on a streaming service, much like J.Lo is doing with the release of her new record through an Amazon partnership. What's fantastic about Adele is that she knows what her fans want but she also drip-feeds them fabulously with nuggets that leave them wanting more, Nick continued. Through mid-June, Adele will be performing the final phase of her hugely successful Las Vegas residency, Weekends with Adele. During its run, which consists of Friday and Saturday night performances at Caesars Palace's Coliseum, she will have put on an astounding 50 dates and 100 concerts overall. According to the New York Post, she made about $2 million a show and a guaranteed $105 million during her extended term, earning her an astounding $1 million every show from the residency. Additionally, according to the publication, her contract includes a 5% sweetener if ticket sales less expenses equal her weekly income. Furthermore, Adele has reportedly arranged a clever agreement that gives her a massive 50% cut of the products. Along with rolling in the deep hoodies, $110 each, there's also a bottle of wine, divorce necklaces, snap-up socks with wine glasses on them, and tissues with the name Adele on them. With a seating capacity of about 4200 the cost of tickets is expected to go up to $16,940, £12,460. According to reports, Adele is also on her way to becoming the artist in Vegas history to make the highest amount per show. 
Adele made another astute financial decision when she decided to add the weekends with residency documentary to her income. This was after realizing the enormous profits from her 2021 one-night-only interview, which at the time brought in around £80 million. The star signed massive deals with broadcasters and streaming networks for the film's rights, and she will also continue to get paid through long-term residuals. Additional arrangements are being arranged for digital downloads, streaming, and DVD sales. Adele was reportedly paid around £50 million globally for weekends with residency in TV syndication or streaming, on-demand purchases, digital distribution, and CD sales. Adele's Vegas shows are not just a massive success critically and with fans, but also financially, an insider told The Mirror in June of last year, discussing the shift. Additionally, the movie special is expected to earn millions more. Surpassing the earnings from the broadcast, she and her group are ready to sell to TV networks and streams across the globe, having secured a number of transactions. Every nation pays millions for her because of her value and attraction for this type of primetime program. Her attraction is evident by the $100 million she made globally on her last special, One Night Only. Adele has performed in stadiums in the past, but Vegas only has 4,000 seats available each night, so millions of people would want to see a full-scale show and a short documentary about her life story. Film teams will follow her achievement and document these June shows. It's another astute business decision that will earn her tens of millions of dollars in the long run. Adele's repertoire of immensely popular songs, which brings in enormous royalties on their own, contributes to her continued financial success even outside of the money she makes from live performances and touring. With 31 million copies sold globally, her album 21 became the best-selling album of the 21st century and among the best-selling albums ever. While her most recent album, 30, sold 5.54 million copies globally in 2021, her third album, 25, sold 22 million copies. Despite never releasing a song or embarking on a tour, Adele made an astounding £8.6 million profit after taxes in 2019, or about £23,000 every day. Adele has demonstrated her strength as an entrepreneur by running four separate businesses that handle her record sales and royalties. Using her true name Adele Laurie Blue Atkins, she founded Melted Stone Limited in April 2008 and serves as its only director. Account summaries as of December 31, 2021, reveal that the singer generated a sizable profit in the year when her comeback album, 30, was published. The company's fortune increased by £11.2 million in only a single year last year, and according to the most recent records, as of 2022, there was £27,904,643 in cash on hand. As of 2022, Melted Stone Publishing Limited, one of her other businesses, with further assets of £8,272,223 in value. Her four album sales have brought in $31 million, her Las Vegas residency pay, and an additional $34 million from digital sales have contributed to her staggering net worth of £173 million, $220 million. Adele has, however, stated that she is not driven by money and that she will never endorse a product with her name on it. I believe it's shameful when you sell out, the woman stated. The kind of artist you want to be will determine this, but I don't want my name associated with any other company. I don't want to be corrupted, haunted, or compromised in any manner. I'm not from a wealthy background, and money doesn't bother me. I enjoy nice things now that I have them. But if I didn't have money right now, I would still be a good person and be living. However, if money were my motivation, I would be thrilled to receive the money. I would represent full fat Coca Cola. Obtain an additional million in the bank. Adele has exhibited a strong interest in the real estate market since her rise to prominence. She has purchased and sold a number of opulent homes in the US and the UK, all of which have increased her wealth. Adele's initial venture into real estate was the magnificent Lock House estate located near Partridge Green, with an astounding 84.7 acres of land. She occupied the house in 2012, 
the year that her career took off following the release of her debut album, 21. She relocated to East Grinstead a year later, and the lock house, which she recently sold, is listed for £6.5 million. Adele owns two nearby Kensington properties that she purchased for £5.65 million and £5.38 million in 2012 in addition to her properties in the United States. She intended to renovate these houses to build a massive mansion. The home has a showcase cabinet that holds her Oscar for the song Skyfall, her dazzling Burberry gown, and the silver platform Louboutin pumps she wore during her performance. Additionally, she paid £600,000 for a flat in the fashionable Notting Hill neighborhood, but she gave her mother Penny Atkins ownership, per data from the land registration that are open to the public. The singer of Skyfall paid £8.5 million for a four-bedroom, six-bathroom Beverly Hills mansion in 2016 that included a summer house and pool. Then, in 2019, Adele splurged on a second Beverly Hills residence, spending £8.53 million for the 6,045-square-foot, five-bedroom, six-bathroom property that was constructed in the early 1960s and sits on over an acre. A spacious office, an art studio, a crafts room, a library, a gym, and pictures from the period verified that the house was across from her estranged husband Simon Konecki's pad, which she bought from him, are among the amenities on the property. Adele maintained her hegemony over the Beverly Hills suburb, having purchased a third house from friend Nicole Ritchie and her musician husband Joel Madden in addition to the other two she already owned. On May 26, the mansion with four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a pool, and a basketball court was sold for $9,950,000. Renowned faces like Nicole Kidman, Javier Bardem, Jennifer Lawrence, Katy Perry, and Penelope Cruz reside in the star-studded neighborhood. Adele and her spouse Rich Paul paid £47 million, $58 million, for an opulent Los Angeles property in 2022. Sylvester Stallone once had the gorgeous new 18,587-square-foot home with eight bedrooms and twelve baths. The rocky statue at one end of the pool was retained by the newlyweds despite a complete refurbishment, as reported by TMZ.